How's it going folks? New Vapor from the New Vapor channel, New Vapor Network. Today what we're going to do is install a Vapor Skins, Vapor Skin, on the Segeli 150 box mod. Alright, take a look at that. You see that texture? That's not just printed on there. That is actually the texture. It feels like that. You can rub your nails across it. And yeah, so that's nice. So, what we're going to do to get started, in fact, let me go ahead and show you all what it comes with. It gets mailed in just your standard, you know, priority mail kind of packaging. But, you get a sticker. Vapor skins. Let's see if I can get that on there. Vaporskins.com really doesn't want to focus in on that website. Either way, it's V-A-P-O-R-S-K-I-N-Z dot com. So, this right here, dot com. Comes with standard instructional manual. Well, it's not even a manual, it's just kind of a, yeah paper. Let's see, according to this, for textured wood vinyls, black mamba and gator, low heat setting six to eight inches from vinyl. Well, that's what I'm using. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to give this a shot the way I've done it in the past with other skins, you know, like my uh, my J wrap, <coughs> and we'll see where it goes from there. So, first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is pull the atomizer off of your device. Once the atomizer is off your device, you know, clean it up real good. Yeah, everybody says use a lint-free cloth and blah blah blah. I, I don't think I've ever used a lint-free cloth for cleaning up a device. What I'm currently using is a napkin stolen from uh, what was it, Taco Bell. It works just as well. Anywhere that you might see a spot of the e-juice or yeah, you know, random just stickiness or whatever you know make sure you wipe it off real good now once that's taken care of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the battery panel first and I know this one is a battery panel because it's got the little finger groove cut out there so I'm gonna go ahead and install that one first set the box I guess right here works. Well, that's actually right where I need to work, so we're going to move that off to the side just a wee bit. Now, as you can see, you know, it's got the little pull tab here and a little pull tab there. So, what I want to do is take it and just kind of peel it off of that white paper. Now, it's black vinyl you know, top and bottom, so there's no, there's no difference in color. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start at the top of this and just kind of line it up. Oh, wow, that adhesive really wants to go. Looks like I may have some juice there on the edge. I'm going to set this down upside down, so sticky, sticky side up, and go around those edges real well. Get any juice that might be there. Because, well, juice is a liquid. It's going to do what liquids do and follow the you know, easiest way to travel. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. 
flip that around so I'm working on the edge without the pull tab on it. And I'm just going to kind of line this up corner to corner. And that fell down more than I wanted. And now it's off center and up too high. So easily just going to peel that back up. Unfortunately, the light levels in here to the naked eye are really low. On the camera, it seems really bright in here, but it's not. So this black on black is kind of difficult to work with. Got that first corner lined up. You know, just kind of run it over across and get that other corner lined up. And I'll lay it down and just kind of flip around so y'all can see as I'm doing it. Take my finger and as I'm laying it down, I'm pressing real nice and even to make sure I don't get any air bubbles in there. And I'm looking and I'm feeling to make sure that it's lined up with the edges properly. Now, if I did this all right, the pull tab should be covered with the skin just properly. Flip that around, smooth it down one last bit. All right, take a look. I'm not really seeing any overhang, I'm not seeing anywhere where it's not really covered, and it covered up that pull tab right to the silver edge. So that's taken care of. I'm going to take that kind of smooth it down one last final time. Now one of the things that you can do if you wanted to, I don't know how well it's going to work on this textured one, is take a business card and run the edge down. Yeah, that's not going to work on this textured one, but we'll see. Now, one of the things that they do advise is that for the textured ones, you give it 24 hours before you put it in your pocket. I guess there's a better chance of the textured ones peeling. All right, let's go ahead and flip the device over. Actually, yeah. Go ahead and flip that device over. Now, on the main broad side, right here, there's really no way to go wrong as long as you get your corners lined up. You know, it isn't like you know one corner goes to this corner and vice versa. As long as you get you know a corner on each corner, you're doing pretty good. So. From what I understand, with these, it's set up so that it leaves that silver beveling so that you can see it. It shouldn't go all the way to the very bottom of that bevel. Let's, see Let's do this long ways, see if that works out better. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I've got a little bit of an air gap kind of right in there. So I'm going to work it from this corner down and up in the same fashion. Just trying to smooth it out and keep it all nice and even.
Now again, this is the Black Mamba one. They've got, yeah, just straight up, you know, colors and flats and mattes and glossies. But I liked this one. I've always been a fan of snakeskin texture. All right, so that's going to be the front and back. Let's go ahead and put the back back on. That does not stop it from going on in the slightest, so that's nice. And then you've got these two here. This one here is going to be for your for the bottom and side of the device. Notice they've even got the little cutout for your finger notch. And this is going to be for yeah, the opposite side, the one with your screen and your fire button and your top. So you got the hole there. So we're going to start off with the one for the top. Now this one you're going to want to be a little more careful with. Because it's not solid, it's got all those holes in it, it's going to have a little more flexibility. Yeah. Go ahead and line up that, you know, that, that open hole with your 510 fitting. This is something I've got to do with it standing up or else I'm not going to get it lined up properly. Once I get this lined up properly, everything else should, you know, fall into place correctly. Now I know this is going to end up being a bit of a long video, but you know, con considering that your average video lasts between three and five minutes on YouTube, but I want to do this without any kind of cutscene or anything, so people can see, you know, just you know the actual time that it takes to to put one of these on without it being screwed. Now again, I'm not doing this exactly as the manufacturer would say that I should because I'm not using a blow dryer. Now you see I got a little bit, where are we, oh. I got a little bit of an uprise here around that fire button that I'm going to have to kind of tweak out and okay, press it around and smooth it down. I guess this is where the blow dryer would come in handy. You gotta kind of manipulate it in around those buttons, those buttonholes, kind of make sure that they aren't gonna cause any issues for your buttons. So right now I've got to kind of not want to go down around that minus button properly. So I've got to fiddle with that and play with it. What is getting there? There we go. Got that. Now it's down on over that screen. Now, the one thing I did not tell you to do was turn your device off. For the simple fact that if you don't have an atomizer on there, having your device on really isn't going to hurt anything, and it allows you to be able to check whether or not. I guess I did turn it off, but it's going to allow you to see whether or not you're blocking any of that screen which I don't appear to be.
Yeah, it looks like right there on that positive button, the skin is right up on the button. You can't really see from there. I so need a better camera than this. So I'm going to have to kind of adjust and wiggle that. Try to pull it down around that button. Just manipulate it a, just a wee bit because I don't want it to interfere with my ability to regulate my device. Because when you spend that kind of money for a regulated device, the last thing you want is for, you know, your inexpensive little skin here to make it so that you can no longer regulate that device to your choosings. There we go. All I had to do was press down with my fingernail a bit, came right up off that button. Now, see back here, this back corner, it's wanting to stand straight up. So, I have to smooth that down. I probably will end up taking a hair dryer to that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom section. This is where your battery vent cover is, or well, not your battery vent cover, but where the battery vent holes in your cover are. You want to make sure that you get this lined up properly. Go ahead and flip it over so that your battery door is on the top. That's going to line it up for you. And go ahead and get that lined up with the battery door. There we go. I got that lined up with the battery door now. Now on this side again it's kind of got that that sharp angle and I want to push it down and it almost moved the whole thing around so I'm gonna have to take blow dryer to that soften it get it down there but for the rest of it you just kind of hold it snug and pull it around make sure it lines up and it's not overhanging that bezel Let's smooth it down. All right. And now that's on. That's done. That's complete. I can... And press both buttons and they function. You can see the entire screen. All right, so that didn't take long. And again, if you're not, you know, talking through the entire time and you know trying to take people through it step by step, it'd go a lot faster. All right. So yeah, go ahead and give them, you know check them out, take a look at them. They're online. They're on. Facebook, uh, it's Vapor Skins with a Z. So go ahead and give these guys a, you know, a look over. They've got something for everyone. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.